In this video, I'm going to show you how to present your screen and be able to see the students or participants in a Google Meet, even if you only have one screen. Here we go. First things first, let's start with some basic vocabulary. You need to know the difference between a window and a tab. This whole thing, this whole browser that we have here, this is our window. This is our Google Chrome window. We'll know because we have that big X that's right there. And if I click on that X, I'm going to exit out of the entire meet. That's the window. These little things right here are tabs. So that's a tab. I'll open a new one by clicking on that plus sign. And that's a new tab by clicking on the plus sign there. So these are tabs and the whole browser is a window. OK, major difference between a tab and a window. That's the first thing you need to understand in order to do this. Since you only have one monitor or one computer, in order to present content and see your students, we'll do this by clicking in the upper right hand corner, the little three dots that are there. We'll click on it and we'll see a few different options. One is to open a new tab. The second one is to open a new window. And then the third is to open a new incognito window. The one that we want to start with is opening a new window. When I open this new window, I'll then be able to see that I have a new window with nothing in it. This is where I will then put my content. I've pulled up a presentation that I want to share with my students in a new window. Right now, I can't see the Google Meet. I can only see my presentation. To move the presentation, I can put it side by side with the Meet by clicking at the top, grabbing the bar, and moving it over to the left side. And we'll see this whole little shadow that's here. It's going to then snap in place for me. So if I let it go, it has snapped in place and it will also now allow me to select another window that I want to place on the side of this window. So I'll select the Google Meet where my students don't worry if you can't get it to snap into place like that very neatly. All you need to do is to make sure that you have the content that you want to share in one window and the Google Meet that you are presenting in with your students in another window. So here I am with my content on the left in one window and here I am here with my class in the other window. Now I'm ready to present to my class. I'll go by clicking down on the present now button right here. When I click on it, it's going to give me three different options. The first one is going to be my entire screen, but that's not the one that I want to do. If I present my entire screen, they will be able to see both of these windows at the same time, and they will also see anything else that's on my desktop. I only want them to see that window. So what I'll do is present one window, present a window. When I click on presenting a window, it will then ask me which of the windows I want to share. Which one am I going to share? I'm glad you asked. You guessed it, it's the one that has my presentation or the content that I want to share. So I'll click on the one that has my presentation in it and click the share button. I'll know that it's sharing by down at the bottom and it's going to change right here on the screen. And so it shows that I am presenting to everyone right now. And here are all of my students right there. It shows right here below where I am on the side. This is the content that I am sharing. This is my presentation. I can see the students here. And the content is over here. But if we take a look at it 
right down here, we'll see that it is a student view and they can only see what I have presented there in the screen. I can go ahead and click on the present button. But when I clicked on present, it went to full screen mode and I can't see my students here. So I can easily exit out of full screen mode And now the presentation has only filled the browser window that I'm sharing to students. So it's in full screen for my students, but I can still see them on this one screen. Let's take a look at it from a student perspective. So here I am in the student view. Don't be confused because you see me right here as the teacher. That's me on camera in my other window. This is the student that I am appearing as. It is GEG Louisiana. And so if I click on it, I can pin myself just so you can see that this is a student view. So this is me, that's me, you. If I turn on this camera, it's going to be a different camera. You're looking at me from down below. I'm going to turn this camera back off to prevent distractions and you will now see that the G is located here. Let me unpin myself. Now we can see what the teacher has shared. And so here I am as the student, I'm just able to view the teacher's one window that he or she has shared. As a student, if I don't like this view, I can then click on the three dots down here and the student can change their layout. Currently, it's a sidebar view. They can also click on the spotlight view and that's where it will remove the other students and it will only show just what the teacher is showing. Students also have the opportunity to change it to auto or tiled as well. Auto will allow the screen to change if another student begins speaking. It will then show that student here on the main screen. Let's head back over to the teacher view. So here I am back in the teacher view on my one monitor, and I've just shown you that the students will only be able to see the things that I have shared with them in the window to my left. As the teacher, I can clearly see the material that I'm presenting to the students on my left, and I can also see the meet that I am in for my virtual lesson as well. If I unpin myself, I'll then be able to see all of my students that are in this specific class. And now as the teacher, I now have the opportunity to click on the three dots here and change my layout. And I can then switch it to a tiled view where all of the students are there on the screen. But keep in mind that the tiled view only allows you to have 16 participants as of the date that I've recorded this video. It's going to be upgraded to, I think, 49 participants at a time. But keep in mind, the more students that you have on your screen, the smaller their pictures and images will be on the screen. If you can't wait until the updates for Google Meet, you can install a Google Meet extension called Google Meet Grid View. I'll put the link for it in the description of this video. So here I am back again in the teacher window but I've changed up the look of things just so you can really understand how this looks for both you and the students that you can truly share your content and see your students on one monitor with Google Meet. Right now, I just have myself pinned right here so that you can see my video. To my left is the window that I'm presenting to students. To my right, I'm logged in as a student in spotlight view. So this puts just the information up for the students so they can see it clearly. So as you can see, the student can only see the window that I'm sharing with them. The great thing about it as well is if I open a new tab 
in that window that I'm sharing with them, they will be able to still see those things as well. If I need to switch up and go to another website or another activity, they'll still be able to see all of the information that I'm sharing just in this window to my left. I'll unpin myself so that you can see that I can now see all of the students that are here in my classroom in this window, in my teaching window, where my Google Meet is in the middle right here. So again, on the left side is the window that I'm sharing. And then on the right side over here is where we have the student view and they are in layout mode. So they can only see the window that I'm sharing. Another great thing about sharing the window is that I can open up as many tabs as I need to and go to different activities for students and they'll only be able to see what's in that window. Here in this middle window, I can still change my layout by clicking on the three dots and clicking change layout and click the tiled view and I'll be able to see my students right here in the middle of the screen. So any window, anything that's shared in that window to my left in my teacher window, the students will only be able to see it. Since I'm also here in the tiled view and I'm only sharing just one window with the kids and I'm looking at them through this specific window, I can even engage with them in the chat by clicking on the chat button, typing into the chat and hitting the send button. And we'll see that on the student view to my right, they'll still be able to see the chat information there and in that student window, they can see it right here and they can click on it and they'll be able to see the chat information that has been provided to them or the engagement that I'm doing with the students. That's how you can use your one monitor to present your content and be able to see and interact with your students in a Google Meet. I really hope that you found value in this video. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button and leave me a comment there to let me know that you found it useful. If there's something else that you'd like to know, feel free to add a question in the comments as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content. Thanks for watching.